Hi y'all. I am back with another Sims 3 guide and this one is for NRAS mods, 7 NRAS mods and the settings that I use and that have literally saved my game. Everyone's game style is different so my settings might not work for you but this is just a guide so hopefully it will make you feel more comfortable changing the settings and eventually you'll have your own settings that will help you with your own gameplay. That's the idea of this video. Anyways, I'll also be showing you how you can export those settings and import them into new saves so you don't have to do it manually every time. First, I do want to share with you a little bit of a uh, history of NRAS Industries and the creator if you're interested in that. If not, of course, uh, there's chapters in the description so you can skip to wherever you want in the video. And uh, yeah, I know I made a video similar to this some months ago, but that was more for people that were new with mods and uh, weren't necessarily comfortable with having mods in their game. So if you are interested in checking that video out, of course, uh, I'll leave that video in the description and a card above. Good question. Well, Fallen was a pretty private guy, so we don't know a lot about him. We do know that he is a developer that created Enros Industries. According to anyone that ever conversated with him, all say pretty much the same thing, that he was kind, patient, helpful, and had a great sense of humor. No one's really heard from him since he retired in 2014. Of course, he was very passionate about The Sims 3, and according to one of the Lucky Sims 3 forum members that has fond memories of him, she said that her impression was that he had actually made the mods for his wife. So in my opinion, and I think for many others, he is definitely a game developer legend of The Sims 3. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about Twalin, you can scooch on over here to this website, nros.net. And of course, I'll leave the link below. But you'll find a little bio of Twalin here and a little history of the mods. You'll also find some monumental custom content that you can download for your game and even a Twalens himself, himself. Also, of course, this is where you can download all the NRAS mods. There's also a forum here that you can go to if you ever have any problem with any of your mods. And yes, it is very much still active. You can go here and ask away. Uh, just pick the one that you're having a problem with. They're all separated here in different sections and you can get the help you need. For the mods, you can just go up to the top here and click this mods icon. No matter where you are on this website, you can just do that. And it'll take you to where all the mods are. And if you scroll through, you can see that there is quite a few. So if you are new to mods, you're gonna wanna get the framework for it. You're gonna want to go to Mod The Sims. And of course that link is down below. Once you're there, you can just scroll down a little bit and in the middle of the page about there's the download link. And yes, if you're on Mac, it works too. So I just download that and it downloads in a zip file. Then you're going to want to extract it into your Sims 3 documents file. And you'll see a new folder here called mods. If you open that up, there'll be three files in there, overrides, packages, and resource. So the packages, file is where you're going to want to put all your mods and once you start accumulating a lot of mods though you're going to probably need to put some in overrides at some point. You'll also see if you open up your packages file all the mods will be with the extension dot package at the end. You won't see this because I have way, <laughs> I have way too many mods. Oh my god I've never seen it in this view before. Okay never <laughs> Never mind. Um, you'll see. You'll you will have two mods though. Uh, one is a no intro mod, and one is a no sparkles mod. So that's just so you can test your framework out and see that it's working. So you're gonna want to fire up your game, and if there's no intro and you're not getting uh, sparkles, I guess when you build, right? Then yeah, your your mods are working, or the framework is working. These are the seven mods that I will be going over in this video. If you need to grab a couple of them or all of them, or maybe you already have all of them, uh, load up your game and I will see you there.
Relativity slows down sims time so your sim has more time to get things done during a sim day. Okay, so to find your NRAS mods, you want to click on a computer or you can click on City Hall in Town View. Look for NRAS. Oh, I think I went past it. Look for the NRAS tab and then Relativity. And in here is where we want to change our speed for our sim day. So I'm not going to go in depth with this mod because uh, it's just too much. So I'm ke keeping it simple. We're just changing our Sims day time and slowing it down. There are a lot of players that say that this mod, they've noticed that it has helped their game and they've noticed a boost in their game performance. I've noticed mine a little bit, a little bit smoother using it. So uh, that's why I've included it in this video. So to change the speed, you just want to find set speed here, click on it and change it to 19. You could go lower than 19, but you definitely don't want to go lower than 10. I think 19 is a good pace, uh, comfortable pace. And you want to change the switch speed on fast to 37. The game runs at 37 by default. So by changing this number to 19 is basically changing to half of 37. So changing it on fast to 37 the default speed makes them coincide so that makes sense i hope <laughs> anyways moving on overwatch cleans up eliminates and corrects errors behind the scenes as you play this is one of my favorite interest mods for game performance one of the mods that twalin or i think his name might be nathaniel because this is his himself. He named him Nathaniel, so I'm guessing that might be his real name. Anyway, <laughs> so Overwatch is one of his, the best mods that he has made for game performance. Just wanted to point out that, guess what his favorite color is? You're exactly right, Terrence. <laughs> yes, it's orange. But you know what? When I put him in this house in Lunar Lakes, I had no idea what the decor was. And most of the decor is orange. So that is just super trippy to me. It is quite a coincidence, I must say. Yeah, see, it's all orange. Anyways, I just thought I'd point that little weird thing out. Okay, so yeah, like I said, this is one of my favorite mods for helping your game not lag so much uh, so you want to again click on a computer find overwatch go into settings and i like to cut down on my town's population as much as possible so i set the cleanup homeless on true and so what that does is it doesn't like eliminate all the homeless it'll just eliminate homeless sims that might have errors and then i will clean up situations i'm not sure what the situations are exactly but i keep that on true and i will delete all magical gnomes i'll put that on true so that just uh overwatch will go in uh, midnight every night and just clean up all the gnomes that spawn around so it doesn't like delete them all and sometimes i like the little guys Sometimes they're annoying. And this is optional. This doesn't have anything to do with game performance, but you can purge genetic hair. So that just means that your sim won't get the mom and dad's hair when they age up. So whatever hair you assign your sim, they will keep that hairstyle. So that, that's cool. You can just set that on true if you want that. I have a mod that kind of overrides that. So I don't use it. And then of course I keep on testing cheats enabled. I keep that on true because it just, is convenient so you don't have to bring up the cheat bar every time you go into your save and that's all i do for overwatch and then overwatch you know it does the rest in the background traffic fixes lag and routing issues caused by vehicles so you know when you are first starting a save and you see a million taxis driving around well we can eliminate most of those taxis and take care of the traffic population as well and i just noticed a horse flying off in the air in the distance there all right so for traffic again you want to find your sims computer or city hall either one go into nras again so it's nice that nras just keeps all their mods in one spot so find traffic and i like to eliminate the food truck and the ice cream truck and the limo so i'll go in here and usually this is set at two i believe by default so max food truck so i just set that to zero so just click on it and change the number hit the check mark it'll bring you back 
uh, click the X and it'll bring you back to the main menu. Then go to, I like to go to the ice cream truck. This is usually set on three max ice cream trucks. So again, click on it and set it to zero. Click the accept button and then the X button and it'll bring you back. And then you can go into routing if you so wish and get rid of the career limos. So I set that to false. You just click on it. Uh, by default, it's set to true, of course. So get rid of that. Click the X. And so for traffic delta, this is usually set at zero. I set it to minus 1000. And that eliminates most of the taxis driving around in town causing routing issues. Because most of those taxis are just for show so there's not even any drivers so even set at minus 1000 there's still a lot of taxis driving around you could play with that number maybe set it down even further if you are finding that there's still too many in your town i am gonna try that so i'm gonna try 1500 and see what happens it looks like to me that that helped that how that did help a lot okay so <laughs> you see this horse up here the next segment of this video we're gonna take care of this issue here because wild horses cause a lot of routing issues Such bull crap. so i always make sure that my towns don't have any running around and that's it for traffic Register. Control your town's population, assign specific roles to specific sims, adjust pay and service costs. Okay, let's go into register and fix up some population of the animals and the tourists. Again, find NRAS and then find register. Okay, so in register settings, you can allow immigration or disallow immigration. I put that on false. And for animal control, we can go in here. So by default, all these animals are running around your town causing headaches and making your game lag. So I go in here and I'll set the uh, maximum deer to one, or you can set it to zero, whatever one you want. Uh, but just, you know, whatever number you choose is up to you for your game. Um, this is what I do. So maximum raccoons, I'll set to one. For stray dogs and stray cats, I'll set that both at two. And for unicorns, sometimes I'll leave the unicorn in the town, sometimes I won't, but I'm just gonna eliminate the unicorn anyways, because I don't really care. Um, and then wild horses, I get rid of all of them. Thank you. <laughs> and that's it for animal control. So that takes care of that. Then you can go into global roles and you can get rid of the paparazzi if you want. And that's what I do. So I set that on false and I will set tourists on false and I clicked out of there accidentally to go back. I always get lost in that menu. So that's all I do there. And then you can go into service and in here you can eliminate some of the service sims that are in town as well. You don't need so many. I'll go in here into babysitter and the pool size means how many uh, spawn in town. So uh, you can set this to one and that's what I do. And the cost is 75, so you can also set the cost. Um, I usually put this lower too, so I'll put this at 25. And then for the burglar, you can set this to whatever number as well in the pool size. So I usually set this to one. And the maid, I usually leave it at two, but I'll set the cost down as well to 50. Okay, so then uh, you can get rid of the science geek too if you want. And set that to zero so then there'll be no science geeks so you yeah you can do the same for the university mascot okay so i think that's all i do in register error trap runs continuously in the background catching bugs that could crash your game this mod is great. It works a lot like Overwatch. So it doesn't have any settings, and, but it works in the background and it eliminates bugs and errors as well. But it works a little bit more extensively than Overwatch where it actually will uh, catch errors that might potentially crash your game. It will also leave a text in your Sims 3 documents. It's called a script log text where there'll be a bunch of code in there that you can actually uh, upload all of that to uh, nras.net if you wish and they can decode it and figure out what kind of error it is and why your game is crashing. I don't usually keep my script 
error logs because I haven't had any major issues with my game for a long time. Uh, but yeah, it is maybe good to hang on to them if you are having, you know, some major issues with your game. Saver reminds you to save your game periodically. So this mod is a fabulous mod because a lot of times we get into playing our game and we don't remember to save it and we might lose a bunch of work we just did. Go in here to Enros and then Saver if I can find it. And what this does is it'll uh, give you a pop-up screen that will remind you to save your game every 30 minutes. So yeah, here is defaulted on 30 minutes, minutes between saves in real time, of course. So you can leave that on every half an hour or change it to every hour or whatever you want. It will have the name of your save, but it'll add a number at the end. So what that does is save your game separately in your save file. So every time this pops up, it'll give a number. So this is the first time in this save, so it gives number one. The next time it pops up, it'll give number two. I don't like having that many saves in my save file, so I will always just take the number away and keep it like that. So I'll delete the number and override the save. I don't need a bunch of saves, but in some cases some people like that that's fine so it'll say save file already exists you are sure you want to override it and so yeah i do that master controller lets you control almost every aspect of the game so this mod works independently of all the other mods where it's not an actual performance mod oh there's a little gnome there <laughs> I'm kind of excited about that too, actually. Okay, so I use this mod to reset my town or my lot if things are getting really laggy. So Master Controller, like the title says, you can pretty much do anything in this mod for your game. So if you wanted to like annihilate a whole household or annihilate a sim, you can instantly do that with this mod. It is a very powerful mod, so you, you do have to be careful with it. I wouldn't mess around in it too much unless you really know what you're doing. Anyway, so to get to Master Controller, again, of course, you have to go to your NRAS menu. Look for Master Controller. And to reset your town, you just want to find Town, Reset Everything. And that will re literally reset everything in your town, every object. Uh, every sim, everything. And a lot of times that will help smooth out your game. Now the other thing you can do if you want, you can reset your lot. So you just want to go into household and then go into reset lot. So if you go in here and you can't find your household, what I do to reset my lot is uh, I'll just go into map view and click on my household icon here and go into NRAS and then master controller and you can reset your lot from there. So that was kind of a lot easier than doing it the other way. When you reset your lot, all your sims will end up at the front door after it's reset. So I'm going to reset it. Well, that reset very quickly. Anyways, like I said, your sims will all end up at the front door after you reset your lot. That's it for master controller for this video. And the next segment, I am going to show you how to export all your settings and import them into a new save. So you don't have to do all of this again manually. Well, this is gonna be amazing. Okay, so if you want to save all those settings for a new save so you don't have to manually do this every single time, you can export them and import them into your new save. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I didn't realize his kitchen was way up on the top floor, but good timing because he pulled out his laptop. So just click on the computer again. You want to go into your Overwatch mod, so NRAS. This time you want to go into Immediate. Just click on there and find export settings. Click on that and click accept. Here's all the mods here. You can remember which ones you uh, made the changes in and highlight those. If you don't remember which ones, uh, you can highlight all of them and it will just export the ones that you saved anyways by default. So, but anyways, we'll just go in and highlight the ones we made the changes in. So it was Overwatch register uh, we're not going to worry about saber because that's by default anyways traffic 
and uh, relativity so just click accept and in and here you just want to uh, name it whatever you want I just put my settings or my game settings it will export automatically into your uh, game library so if you go into edit town in your library bin in edit town it just saves automatically it'll also export into your documents uh, sims 3 documents library folder but you're not going to be able to know what file it is because the name is automatically uh, saved in a string of letters and numbers so the only way is by the date so you can click on uh, up here on date modified see if you don't see your date there uh, so the most recent file that's put in here if you click on on date modified it'll show up on the top and that's how you'll know that that's where your settings are and then you can just change the name which I did here and the reason why you might want to change the name is if you want to share your settings with someone else or just so you know what that file is okay so in order to import those settings into a new save you want to click on your sims computer again and go back to overwatch once again so nras and then overwatch and you want to go back into immediate and you want to go into import settings and in here you want to highlight again all the mods that you just made the changes to uh, but if you highlight say if you forget you can't remember which ones you've made changes to you can highlight all of them or whichever you can kind of guess and when it imports it'll just ignore all the ones that didn't export anyways but we know which ones for this one so just highlight overwatch again register relativity and traffic click accept and then you'll see the new settings here so my settings just highlight that and now the settings have automatically changed for that save game and that finally brings us to the end of this guide if you found any of it at all helpful don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already it really helps me so i can continue making these kind of videos and improve the quality of them as well so thanks for watching and until next time have a good one guys